the kitchen for us now and it smells just like Christmas in yeah. here. So, uh, <laughs> so it's there in front of us. G uh, yes. Ginger is one of my favourite things. Yes. What, and this oh, is a proper twist. What have you made here? These are gingerbread New York City cookies. So it's a gingerbread sort of dough, the flavour with white chocolate chips inside. Oh, they give you a little moly. bit of gooiness. It's yeah. amazing. They are so gooey. And they are oh. one of the easiest bakes. They're one of my favourite bakes. And, you know, there's not too many ingredients. It looks a bit hectic. Worth it. Okay, I'm good. Go for it. I'm all One in. of the simplest mm. things you can do with cookies is honestly, it sounds really silly, but follow the recipe and you will not go wrong. Mm. Nothing wrong with a crunchy cookie or gooey. With mm. this, I use unsalted butter, but you can use a baking spread. I use dark brown soft sugar because it gives like a caramel deepness mm -hmm. to it. You can use caster sugar or a light brown sugar. Would recommend dark brown soft sugar though. Okay. When you add them to the bowl, you just want to blend it together. So it just sort of looks so the butter smooth. has to be at room temperature, because I do this all the yes. time and I forget. And then I'm like, yes. now what do I do? Exactly. And like, there's debate with New York City cookies about whether the butter has to be cold. But I always make my recipes as easy as possible for everyone. OK. So I just think if you don't have a fancy mix or anything, room temperature butter, it works. OK. Mm -hmm. When you have blended your unsalted butter and sugar together, you add the liquids. Sometimes it can seem like the recipe is a bit dry, because mm -hmm. all you do is add an egg and you add vanilla. But honestly, you need the vanilla for the sweetness mm -hmm. and it's perfect. You can make them a bit richer with an extra egg yolk if you want. I would just follow it though. It's amazing. Stick to the recipe. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and it's just, it's fun to make and it's one of those things that kids would enjoy. And yes, they are giant cookies, so you can halve them if you want, but I'd recommend It is just... quite, I mean, that, that would be a challenge. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, I'll do it, obviously, but... It's, mm. uh, it's <laughs> it is a big cookie, but you can yeah. make smaller ones. Yeah, you can do if you want to, but the charm of New York City cookie is that it is bigger, it's beautiful and it's amazing. <laughs> when you make something like the New York City cookies, you want the raising agents. So in this, I use baking powder mm -hmm. and bicarbonate of soda. And then you use a plain flour to make it sort of rise up a bit better. So we're getting the ingredients everywhere, don't mind me. And that's literally the only dry bits that go in... Oh, no. So you've got wait. the plain flour as well. Wait, Willoughby, wait, patient. <laughs> And then I use the spices of ground ginger, cinnamon, and a little bit of nutmeg just to give a slightly warming spice. You can really taste the spices yeah, through it. Can. That's that real Christmas, like, oh, I love that. so nice. Yeah, I just want to make sure that it's a little bit warming. If you prefer the idea of a cinnamon cookie, you can do just cinnamon. You can do a little bit more nutmeg. You could do whatever you want, mm -hmm. really. But it's just the idea that you can have fun with it. You can yeah. use milk chocolate chips if you want. You can use dark chocolate chips. So once you've got that base, yeah, exactly. then you can experiment there. Exactly. And, like, I always add the dry ingredients in and make sure I mix it in just because then it's easier to add the chocolate chips. Yeah. You could add a bit more to it if you wanted. You could even more chill... More chocolate? Yeah. Oh, why you not? Could add more. You could even add, like, a chocolate spread to the middle if you froze a blob of chocolate spread, put that inside. Oh, my God. Go a little bit over the top, I will admit, but yeah. it's absolutely fine. So once the cookie dough is all mixed, as you can see, it comes together really, really quick and it's, you've got a cookie dough. Mm -hmm. You could put... You could sort of put dried fruit in there a little bit if you want. Yeah, you to, could do, it? especially like if it's like a festive bake. Like that. So that yeah. works absolutely fine. You could use anything. Mm -hmm. I like sometimes at home I'll do like you can see the amount of chocolate chip going. I mean that is yeah. a lot, isn't it? Yeah. So wow. you just mix all of that in and I'm just gonna That's why it's so naughtily yeah. good. So when you've done that, you basically mm -hmm. will have a cookie dough. Mm -hmm. And I've just got two here that you portion out. They're about 120 grams each and it's important to chill the dough. Chilling dough is what makes you get that beautiful texture. For how long? Um, at least half an hour in the freezer or an hour in the fridge. OK. So once you've chilled it... And you make a ball, not yeah. a cookie shape. Yeah, so I do this because then when they spread, they flatten perfectly themselves. Mm. So once you've chilled the dough, put it on the tray to a preheated oven. You want the temperature quite warm, so it's about 180 in the fan. 200 hotter. Okay. Just because it gets better that way. And you give them the space to spread then. Exactly. You don't want too many on a tray because if there's too many, it, they'll go everywhere. They'll merge into one giant cookie. And that one's mine. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you can make these into a tray bake though if you want because if you make them into a tray bake, you can make cookie bars. You oh, can make nice. the same dough into a nine inch square tin for about 20 minutes and you have cookie bars instead. I didn't even know that was a thing. Cookie bars are amazing. That's but as great. you can see, yeah. After the chilling, you've got the cookies. They're perfect. And then when they're slightly warm, you can break them apart and have, like, a gooey oh texture in the middle. Jane, they're absolutely delicious. And they are perfect with a bit of milk or a hot chocolate or something like that. Yeah. I'll tell you what, on 
Christmas Eve, yes. Santa will be very happy if you leave those by the <laughs> chimney, won't he? Honestly. And, um, and your website, janespatisserie.com, yes. that's really become a go-to online destination for baking. In Honestly, years, it's been sure. insane over the past oh, year well. with everything that's gone on. Well, Everyone well loves you. the simple, easy recipes. Yeah. Congrats. This is one of them. Well Thank done. You. Right, Thank the details you. of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.